On the heels of today's Remembrance Day observance comes the reminder that tomorrow is Code Red Day in Manitoba. All the province is under lockdown. As of Thursday, November 12th, businesses and organizations all throughout Manitoba are considered critical or non-critical. Non-critical businesses must entirely shut down so with places such as gyms and churches being in that category. Businesses listed as non-essential services and personal services such as barbers and estheticians and hair salons such as Hairistocracy must entirely shut down for the next two weeks. They had to make major edits to accommodate the pandemic restrictions. It really goes from having fully booked up until Christmas. This is our busiest time of the year. Now we're not allowed to work. Good afternoon. It's your March 23rd edition of Newsline. I'm Arinthia Babb. For today's show, Mayor Crest has a message for Brandonites on anti-racism, a winter fair update, and a COVID update. Sunday, March 21st was the United Nations International Day for the Elimination of Racism. I met with Mayor Crest to find out how he plans to fight racial, racial pre prejudice. This Sunday, March 21st, marks the International Day for the Elimination of Racism. However, last September in this Christopher Campbell Memorial Skate Park, there was a brutal attack on a black man named Kevin Taylor, where he was beaten so badly and stabbed five times that he ended up in hospital. Mayor Crest was not available for comment, but he has a statement about these type of hate crimes now to make. Right in your, your own backyard, it's... Uh you know, really troubling. Good afternoon, I'm Arinthia Babb and this is your Newsline Weather. It's a little cooler today, but it will warm up as we move through the week. Currently, it's minus one degrees with a sun and cloud mix, becoming increasingly cloudy due to that 60% chance of afternoon showers. The wind chill makes it feel like minus nine. We're going to a high of 10 with winds from the northeast at 30 kilometers an hour, gusting to 50 kilometers an hour. This evening, it'll be clear with minus five and a high of 15 degrees with winds from the northeast at 15 kilometers an hour. For the overnight, it will be partly cloudy and dipping to minus five with that wind chill making it feel like minus nine. Winds will be from the southwest at 15 kilometers an hour. Looking ahead to the five-day forecast, temperatures will stay in the double digits. Protesters are stationed all the way down 18th Street from Richmond to Rosser. They're fighting Provincial Bill 64. It would make sweeping changes to oversight of local education in Manitoba. The president of the Brandon Teachers Association says kids will suffer if education is being managed by people who don't understand local needs. They need to meet with teachers. Teachers are the ones that know about education. They know what's best for kids. They know what's best for schools. They need to talk to us. They need to listen to us. Every street corner had community supporters, QP members, and me members from the Brandon Teachers Association protesting against Bill 64. These people say this is only the first step. They're ready for a long fight to prevent Bill 64 from becoming law. For ACC Newsline, I'm Arinthia Babb. 